Just a very quick update on my Insurgency Sandstorm custom community layout video. I assigned six buttons to the right touchpad. Usually it behaves like a mouse, so you can see that I, as before, I can just control it and it behaves like a mouse. But if I click it, it starts to behave like a button menu. It clicks the button RPG, for example, and at the same time in the weapon menu we set it so when I let it go, click release event switches it back to the main set. So, yeah, that's it. This is how it looks. Once again, you see, instead of going here, pushing X to reload, I'm pushing touchpad to reload and I'm not moving my finger away. And that makes it really comfortable. Shoot, 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 reload. Beautiful. Pick something up, you know. If it would be a pick up item, I would just go here, tap, 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 F to pick anything up. Press F or close the door, open the door, F, shoot. To show you that it's also pretty quickly swappable, like I'm running, I'm shooting, I'm choosing pistol, and I keep shooting immediately, without stopping. I can choose my RPG from here. The layout name is version 16, same as in the video before, but now it's version 16. Link, layout details, so here's the link if you need to apply it, right here. I sticked a piece of duct tape in the middle of it, so when I touch it, without looking at it, I feel that to the left of this bump, I have my reload menu, to the right of this bump I have my F button, to the top right of this bump I have my RPG. So I don't need to look at it, I can just feel it. And just let me quickly show you how exactly did I set it up. Okay, settings, controller settings, controller, and you can find it in community layout. You go down, 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 somewhere around here I guess, yeah, this one. Ganjuju Insurgency Sandstorm version 16 Gyro Recoil Assist Tailpad Keypad and description is right pad on click keypad. And let me show you how I actually made it work. So to make it work I added another action set. Action set I called it right pad menu click and I inherited it from the main set. So in the main set on a right trackpad it operates, as you can see, as a mouse usually, but on the right click, before there was an F key button. Right now, instead of F key, I add action set, which I created before, right pad menu click. So here, action set, you set add action set layer. And I did put it on right click on start press, like not on the full click, but I click and on a start press, it activates this layer. I also created a virtual menu, I put grenades and keys on the left trackpad, so left trackpad is for grenades, and ignore it. But weapon menu is only for the right trackpad right now. And in this menu, apart from all the buttons which I created, like one for guns, number four for RPG, reload, use, pistol, any explosive button, at the bottom here, additional commands. On the release press click, we remember that I already pressed in the right pad to switch to this action set, and when I release it, it clicks, and on release click, it makes remove action set layer thing. And I do remove action set, right pad menu click, because right now, this one is exactly right pad menu click, here, right trackpad, main set starts it, and if we switch right on R1, right now in R pad menu click, I choose right trackpad behavior weapons. So I need to set weapons here. And once again, if we go to virtual menus and weapon menu itself, on the release, it will get rid of right pad menu click. That's one point. And another point is that inside this virtual menu set for weapons, we go to general, and instead of click, um, the menu is being activated on touch release. So basically, the button is being chosen when I let finger go, touch release action happens, and the button is chosen. So not when I click it, but when I release it. This exactly, this is exactly what makes it work so 
So let me quickly show you how does this menu operates. I click top left corner, I'm choosing my gun basically, my main rifle. I click top right corner, I'm choosing my RPG. If, uh, for example, I shot a little bit already, right? And then I click on the left middle section of the touchpad, I reload. So this would allow me to run around, shoot, and then without moving my button to X button here, I can just click left part of the touchpad, quickly reload. And while I'm reloading, I'm still using my gyro or I'm using my trackpad to navigate. Or for example, if I need to pick up anything, and now I just need to pick up items and I keep looking at those and like tap, 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 F to pick anything up, use button. If I need to quickly switch to pistol, I just top bottom left corner and it's a pistol for me. And if I need to choose any explosive, I can uh, switch between my explosive, which is bottom three for me. So number three, I'm switching between all the explosives I have. And on the left trackpad menu, I just set all the grenades and additional buttons which I might need. For example, flare grenade number five, I don't have it. Smoke grenade number six, I can choose it and I can throw it. What else do I have? I have frag grenade. Frag grenade number seven, same, throw it. Insignia refire grenade, I don't have it. Molotov cocktail, I do have a mask. Oh, this layout doesn't have a mask, but basically if I would need a mask, I'm running, running, okay, click, choose a mask, go, or choose, bin choose binoculars and go. Otherwise, if, for example, I'm using D-pad buttons here, I would need to run, shoot, and then switch, and while I'm switching, I have to stop. As you can see, it's a like main menu set right now. As soon as I click it, it switches to the um, right pad menu set. If I untap it on tap release, it clicks the button RPG, for example, and at the same time in the weapon menu, we set it so when I let it go, click release event switches it back to the main set. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you. I think it might be really useful for you guys and enjoy because I was really looking for ways to implement this feature and when I finally found it, I felt like that's gonna help me a lot. So yeah, running around, reloading, picking up things, switching to pistols, switching to any explosives. Uh, if I still need to switch it like this on the go, right? And it works nice and easy. Yeah, and another thing let me show you, a very tiny last piece of information, so to say, is what I did to my right trackpad and left trackpad, actually. I sticked a piece of duct tape in the middle of it, so when I touch it, without looking at it, I feel that to the left of this bump, I have my reload menu, to the right of this bump, I have my F button, to the top right of this bump, I have my RPG. So I don't need to look at it, I can just feel it. And same thing I did with my left trackpad as well. So I'm holding it, and then to go top left right from the bump, it's this button, that button, right button, left button, bottom left button, bottom right button, button. So yeah, of course, when I move my finger around, I feel it a little bit, but basically just tune it to your liking. Uh, take any piece of duct tape or insulation tape, whatever, stick it, uh, make sure it doesn't get ripped off or something, and if it's too big, just cut it smaller. And I can easily scoop it with my fingernail and it will leave no trace, so that's just a small tip for you how to, how to basically improve the touchpad menus if you want to have a tactile feedback on which region are you choosing. Feel free to, I don't know, stomp a few dots on you can, or you can make vertical and horizontal lines, like whatever makes you happy. I wanted to keep it as non-intrusive as possible, that's why I just stick to the duct tape in the middle. So yeah, that's it. Happy gaming, guys. Enjoy. I hope this trackpad menu thing really helps with you with your Steam Deck gaming. And have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.